So now the Mets are down to Omir Santos with Sheffield, the tying run at first and two out. Santos had a base hit to right center in the seventh off Beckett. He's one for three. Two to one Boston, top of the ninth. And Santos drives one deep left field. Bay looking up at the wall, and it's near the top. Did it go out? No, they say in play. Sheffield around third. Now he's going to stop right there. The Mets thought it was a home run. The ball is thrown away, but Sheffield had already stopped. Jerry Manuel is going to come out to argue, and I think we're going to have a review. That ball looked like it might have cleared the line and got into the monster seats. If it is, it's a two-run homer, and the Mets would have the lead. And now the umpires are going to consult. The fans pointing to that spot above the line, which would make it a two-run homer, in which case the Mets would have a three-to-two lead. And almost certainly the umpires are going to have to go to video review here to figure this out. Only or Santos either did or did not just give the Mets the lead with a two-run homer. I saw the third base umpire, Paul Nart, make the safe sign. I didn't see if any other umpire made a call. No, no other umpire made the call. For, by my eye, it seemed like a home run to me, that it was over the yellow line. It was a home run. Yeah. Well, the umpires continue to discuss. I can't imagine that they will not use the video replay that's available to them. We will show you this replay. And that appears... To hit the padding above the line, that's a two-run home. Yes, it is. So if they look at the replay, which apparently they are now setting off to do, that's what they will see. And it appears as though the Mets have taken a three-to-two lead in the top of the ninth. But we will not know for sure until the umpires go and consult the video replay. Omir Santos with two out in the top of the ninth against Jonathan Papelbon, who has not blown a save all year, does this. Well, Ronnie, we, he knows he's got it. <laughs> Look at that reaction. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's gone. It only has to go above that. Well, it's red. It's a red line with a little yellow on top of it. He knows he hit it, but he didn't get the call. Paul Nartz signaled safe. The fans pointing to the padding above the line, and that makes it a home run. Now, remember, the rule is, is that it's got to be irrefutable evidence. So the call has been made that it is a double, that the ball was live. So they have to go in when they look at it. They've got to have irrefutable evidence that the ball went over the yellow line. We see it that way up here. Terry Francona, meanwhile, is coming out to talk to the remaining umpire. Three of them have gone to consult the video replay. One umpire remains behind. Razor Shines didn't know what to do with Gary Sheffield. He nearly tackled him as he was coming around third base. Which is not the play. That's an interference right. play. You're, You're not allowed to touch the runner. And then as it turned out, the throw back in got away. So if the ball was indeed in play, you could have all sorts of permutations there. But it certainly appeared from the replay that we showed that the ball was out. And that the Mets have the lead. Here's Sheffield. Now he believes it's out, but he picks up his third base coach like he's supposed to. But watch this. There's contact between Sheffield and Razor Shines. But Razor Shines never did put his arms around him. He stayed away, which is a good play. Looked like Sheffield almost pushed yeah. off. <laughs> well, this is going to be a, a home run. His call is going to be changed. And Papel Bond, let's get back, Ronnie. We talked about it. Inside fastball, late one run lead. Well, he got away with it once. He didn't get away with it twice. Yeah, don't like that pitch. And he's regretting that pitch right now. If it is a home run, it'll be the second Papel Bond is allowed. They're back. The umpires are coming out, and it's a home run! A two run homer for Omir Santos. And the Mets have taken a three to two lead in the top of the ninth inning. The first blown save of the year for Jonathan Papelbon. Omir Santos with the Mets down to their final out. A 2-1 homer, and the Mets take a 1-1 lead on the top of the ninth inning. Well, how about Jerry Manuel rolling the dice, not putting Tatis or Castro up there, taking a chance with Omir Santos, who ends up with the longest home run trot in Mets history.